Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dan Kruger from DK Fitness where we help people achieve their fitness and weight loss goals in a fun and sustainable way through optimized nutrition coaching and custom meal plans. And today I want to talk about snacks. We're going to talk about the best snacks in my opinion. And we're not going to talk about the normal healthy snacks that people talk about all the time. Almonds, beef jerky, stuff like that. We've all heard about those before and we all know that those are great. But what do you do when you're craving chips and candy and ice cream? Like, what are the good ones for those kinds of days? We're gonna go over some of my go-tos for those kind of sweet and salty and snacky cravings. So starting from the top, um, what about chips? How do we get chips in the mix? Are you into chips and salsa, chips and guac? If you're kind of craving that kind of thing, how do we get our fix with that? Uh, there's actually a lot of things in this category. <clears throat> I'm gonna focus on one of them today, which is a specific brand called Benito's. And they are a black bean based chip that you can get at most. I know Whole Foods carries them. And um, you can definitely find them on Amazon as well. But they are a black bean uh, based chip. And the main thing that is great about these is they're not necessarily low calorie per se. They're both the same calorie um, uh, caloric value as, as most chips, but uh, the amount of fiber that they have is significantly higher than other chips. So what does that mean? That means the metabolic response that is created when we eat them is completely different, well, very different from like regular potato chips or Doritos, and not to mention the ingredients that go into them are of much higher quality and you're getting them a lot better micronutrient profile than you would with a regular old like Dorito or something like that. Um, so Benito's chips, are gonna be my go-to recommendation for people who wanna have their chips and salsa or chips and guac. So next on the list is going to be uh, popcorn. Um, let's say it's movie night and you wanna munch on something kind of mindlessly while you're watching a movie or watching Netflix or something. Popcorn is a great snack, uh, especially when you're craving something salty and crunchy. Um, and there's a lot of really great air popped popcorn on the market these days. Yes, Smart Food Delight, their uh, sea salt Popcorn is the one that I found that I thought would be a fantastic option for people. And uh, the nice part about these is we're getting a good ratio of fiber to carbohydrates. So you guys have heard me talk about my fiber, my rule of five when we're talking about fiber before. If we check our fiber index on these guys, we're looking at 4.25, um, which is great. So even though this is just pretty much a pure carbohydrate food, popcorn that is, um, the way it digests is not going to be all that bad because of all that fiber it's going to slow down the digestion quite a bit and these since they are air pop they're going to have a lot less fat than you would with a normal popcorn that's popped in oil and maybe has butter on top and something like that so if you're doing like three and three quarter cups which is a pretty good sized portion you're only getting about 140 calories with these guys so not a bad option for those movie nights where you want to have some popcorn again we're still going to make sure that your caloric intake for the day is appropriate for what your goals are uh, but if you need some popcorn i would suggest something like this um, so you can get your fix now what about candy bars uh, we just got through halloween here um, I'm sure we got a little reminder about how good some of those candies can be. Those little bite-sized things are floating around everywhere. What if you want to have something kind of like that um, and you don't want to just get a regular candy bar? Um, most protein bars these days are going to be uh, pretty comparable to candy bars as far as the, the flavor and um, the texture. There's some out there that are pretty darn good in that department, but I found one that kind of fits the, the bill a little bit better. It's Quest Hero Bars. They're a little bit different, different than the regular Quest Bars because they don't have quite as much protein. The goal of these, I think, is just to provide a snack candy type solution as opposed to a protein bar. The macros and the calories are a whole lot better than regular candy bars, uh, but when you eat it, it legit tastes like a regular candy bar. So it's a really good alternative to grabbing a Snickers or a Milky Way or Baby Ruth or whatever your, your usual go-to is. Uh, so think about adding those to your, your arsenal. If you're someone who likes to have some candy every now and then, um, pick up one of these instead next time. See if it does the trick. The metabolic response that you get when you eat this is going to be much different than regular candy. You're going to get uh, a much more subdued insulin response compared to the normal sugary candies that you'll pick up. And then the last one on my list is going to be ice cream. So there's a ton of brands out there these days that are producing lower calorie ice cream alternatives and they've really gotten really good. Um, the first time I tried this stuff, uh, when, when these first started coming out, was like Arctic Zero uh, a couple of years ago. 
and it was almost like just like an icy almost. They did not, they didn't get the creaminess down, and it just wasn't a good option, uh, in my opinion. But lately, uh, Halo Top has come out. They've really kind of upped the game, and I've seen a few other brands that have come out uh, and hit the market these days, like Enlightened. And uh, Liz uses a dairy-free one called Not a Boo, I think it's called. Uh, but the one I chose to, for this list today is Halo Top. Um, if you're looking at a pint of cookie dough ice cream, you're looking at about 380 calories, I think, for the whole thing. Um, now, if you were to look at like a pint of Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream, just regular old. Uh, old-fashioned uh, cookie dough ice cream, it's probably closer to 900 or 1,000 calories for that exact same quantity of ice cream. Um, so the Halo Top is going to give you a much different macro breakdown, a lot lower calories, and uh, I think they actually put a little bit of protein in there as well. So the macros overall are going to be a lot different. Still not super like micronutrient dense and healthy, but it is a low calorie option. If you really crave an ice cream, grab a pint of Halo Top, see if that does the trick, and see if that gets you through your, your craving. So those are my top four uh, snack foods that I like to recommend to people when they're getting those cravings. They're gonna be a lot less destructive on your, on your goals than their um, full calorie traditional counterparts. Uh, so keep those in mind next time you guys have some cravings, see if they do the trick. If you guys have any questions about these products or anything else that falls into these categories, shoot me an email. Uh, dkruger at dkrugerfit.com and if you're interested in our coaching packages go ahead and shoot me an email as well dkruger at dkrugerfit.com and we'll get you started. I will see you guys in the next video.